Today I'm happy to be joined with Marie and Katie with the Cinderella Project in Lloyd Minster and today we're going to be discussing what the Cinderella Project is and the good that it does in the community for girls who want a, ga a beautiful gown for grad but may not be able to afford it. So thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, when, I, when I saw your Facebook page I said I have to have um, someone come in and talk about it because it is an amazing project and an amazing uh, organization. So can you tell me a little bit about the background and what the Cinderella Project is? For sure. So the background comes from just really wanting to reach out and help graduates in need and just a bit of a passion for people that are needed, experiencing either financial hardships or maybe family or personal hardships in their lives. So it originated out of just a felt need <laughs> and it's developed into quite a big project of gathering gowns and shoes and matching girls to shoes and <laughs> girls to gowns and also just a community-based project where everyone can step in and come together and help out mm -hmm. and volunteer and yeah it's turned into a really great experience for everyone. And being part of it have you noticed how the girls who come in and you know they try on these dresses and they walk out with a dress that they love and it's affordable for them yeah. how have you seen um, their expression the way that they feel coming out um, from when they come into the store well we always have our volunteer fairy godmothers and every time they walk in they're just kind of in awe of the selection that mm -hmm. we have and every year we kind of make it a really fun display of all the dresses and they just get to pick and some come in really shy and by the end of yeah. it when they find their perfect dress yeah. and the perfect shoes and the perfect accessories they're just kind of elated and they mm -hmm. just have this beaming smile on their face and not just them but whoever they decide to bring whether that's mom or sister mm -hmm. or grandma they're just so excited and they can't wait for grad yeah exactly I think that speaks to it is just turning from kind of almost dreading or it has to be something that they just have to do mm -hmm. into just an excitement for grad and yeah coming in being a little bit nervous and shy like Maria said to just having confidence and I think that's a big part of why we do our project because mm -hmm. it's not just about glamour because I know it's hard right now to think that all this <laughs> glamour and makeup and everything matters but it's so much more than that because it's the confidence and and just building that up in them so that they can go out in their next step and take on their next bit of life and <laughs> it's just giving them a bit of a boost and yeah we get to see that yeah. firsthand when they get excited for grad so now on top of the dresses you also do swag bags filled mm -hmm. with makeup and hair supplies mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit about those bags mm -hmm. and um, what that adds to the dresses as well so when they walk in you know we do the process of you know picking their dresses and picking the shoes and by the end of it it's kind of almost like a little bit of a surprise because yeah. they don't expect to get more yeah. stuff <laughs> too so and then when they open it, it's like there's mascaras and lipsticks and lip liners and just and sometimes face masks mm -hmm. and little things to just kind of make their grad day extra extra special and so, and even those things that you know they can use right away as mm -hmm. well and just kind of you know just add a little bit of a sparkle yeah. to the experience and so what are kind of the requirements for girls who want to use Cinderella Project or need to use Cinderella Project for their dresses? Again, we're looking for a need, like a felt need. Um, we're pretty open about being accepting. So right now we're working with the school counselors. They have the application forms in our local schools. So we're trusting that that referral is someone who is in need and if it's by relationship, that's all right too. It's mostly just either financial struggle or going through personal or family difficulties at the grad season. So, and to and if someone wants to donate a dress that they've worn uh, in the past, what are some of the things that you're looking for, and how can they donate? Mm -hmm. So um, we have three drop-off places that they can donate at. So one would be the Olive Tree, another one would be at Musgrave Agencies, and the other one would be at Synergy. Um, basically, we're looking for grad gowns. Um, uh, usually, we would prefer it. I know that some people have asked before brides with bridesmaids' dresses would do, but we have. I think hundreds yeah. <laughs> of bridesmaids dresses at this point. So grad gowns would be really appreciated. Yes. And um, 
usually grad gowns don't you know aren't overused anyway mm -hmm. so we'll take whatever it yeah. is in our drop-offs and we kind of take care of the rest yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, just really quickly before we wrap up you are only accepting applications for buying the dresses and donate donating the dresses on or before March 31st correct mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. they can donate at any three of those locations and for applications where do the girls go to to apply for uh, the dresses they can go to their schools any of the local schools or they can inbox us directly and we can meet up with them mm -hmm. to give them an application mm -hmm. and just really quickly before we wrap up where can they go to uh, contact you if they have any questions absolutely they can contact us at Cinderella Project Lloyd Minster at gmail.com or they can ask their school counselors yeah and inbox us at Facebook as well yes of course Facebook <laughs> social media we have an Instagram as well yeah. all right well thank you so much for coming in mm -hmm. and with grad season coming up around the corner I hope that girls will be able to find the dress that they love and have the time of their life at their grad so thank you Absolutely. thank you thank you so much <laughs>